This travel adventure brought to you by Get Lost Magazine. Madrid is an ancient city with a rich complex history which can be tasted in its cuisine. Moorish influences rounded out by Mediterranean sensibilities, flavored with a bit of panache from Gaul, Madrid has a cosmopolitan palate to suit any taste. So here are the best places to put things in your mouth in Madrid. My first stop was the Mercado de San Miguel, which is classified as a food hall, but it's much more a cathedral to cuisine. Truly expansive and well-designed, this cavernous delight depot has flavors, food, and drink to satiate any desire. From small plates to fried delights to fresh produce and delicious wines, you can easily spend hours wandering through the stalls, sampling all the flavors that make up Madrid. For a more entrenched experience, La Huerta de Tudela is a must which is one of the most beautiful restaurants I have ever had the pleasure of dining in. Light, warm, and with a welcome attention to detail, La Huerta is a self-contained experience all to its own. Here, ingredients are brought fresh every morning from their local farm to make some of the brightest and flavorful dishes in all of Spain. Madrid is, of course, no stranger to tapas, and Casa Macareno, located in the Flore Malasana district, is its finest example. Locals fill the joint starting with Russian salad and finish with epic house-cured charcuterie platters that will leave you howling. For a more modern approach on tapas, La Musa will amuse you for sure. Sit al fresco in the lovely Plaza Baja and treat yourself to fresh burrata, Asian croquetas, Indonesian roasted cauliflower, camarón buns, and of course, ice cold vermouth to wash it all down. For an experience you simply won't forget, reserve a stage side table at the Corral de la Moraria. This place is no secret and has been graced with some of the most talented actors in history and Brendan Fraser. Corral's dinner service is exceptional, which it really doesn't have to be, considering they provide the absolute best flamenco dancing in the world nightly. Dancers have been picked by hand and shows rotate every week and have been since 1956. Unfortunately, I witnessed Belen Lopez perform and left my heart at the table. If you go, see if it's still there for me. Finally, if you want to have an experience you simply cannot get anywhere else, experience Botine. Honestly, this is the best uh, suckling pig you can ever have in Spain. I agree, they make the best suckling pig I've ever had, and they should considering they've done it for 300 years, making them the oldest restaurant in the world. It was so special, I did a short documentary about them, which is worth seeing if you've just eaten. Thank you, Madrid. You are a city that fills the soul as well as the stomach like no other city in the world. See you soon.